Welcome to another episode of Tuesdays with Tyler. This week, I am in one of the labs here on campus to learn about the sciences and hopefully even blow something up at the end of this show. I am joined this week by Deb Breider. Deb, thank you for joining us. So let's start with the obvious. Sciences can mean a lot of different things. What different programs can students study here on our campus? Uh, we have majors in biochemistry and biology and chemistry. Uh, we have a minor in physics. You know, one of the main questions we always get in the admissions office is, what are the different ways students can get involved outside of the classroom? And here for the sciences, there's no better way than Alpha Helix. Absolutely. Alpha Helix is our student-run science group. Uh, so any scientist or non-scientist can be part of, of Alpha Helix. We also have a student affiliate group of the American Chemical Society on campus as well. So a lot of great opportunities for students mm -hmm. here on campus. Mm -hmm. But to me, one of the best opportunities for students within the sciences is the opportunity for research. Great student to faculty ratio, professors always wanting students to get involved. Can you talk a little bit about the research opportunities for students and a little bit about your own research? Students uh, can be involved in any of the sciences here. We have a wonderful program with physics. We've had, uh, in fact, a young woman recently won an award at the Sigma Xi conference for her physics research with our physics professor. We have an ornithologist on campus who does a lot of research with birds, and so there's a lot of student research there. We have a chemist who does lots of thermodynamic and kinetic calculations on a computer. We have an inorganic chemist who does uh, research in collaboration with a microbiologist. Some of the uh, more recent research uh, has gone to as far away as Portugal. We've taken our students to Portugal. So. Plenty of research opportunities for students. We are going to do our own research because it is time for Tyler versus the experts and we are going to research if I can figure out what the heck you're about ready to do. So what experiment do you have for us today? Well, today we are going to do a chemical reaction uh, with some hydrogen peroxide. And hydrogen peroxide is H2O2, and this is 30% hydrogen peroxide. So I know H2O, yes. water, is also very important. Will, will we be using any H2O today? We'll be producing some H2O here. Uh, we're going to add a catalyst to this H2O2. I'm just adding a little bit of dish soap now. Uh, we're going to be using a catalyst to release the oxygen from the H2O2 so that we leave behind water and the oxygen escapes. Well, this is red. That's red. Now we're adding blue. blue. And then we'll hopefully have a little bit of region purple. That's true science right there. Red and blue does in fact equal purple. Uh, okay, so then we're gonna add a catalyst, so uh, some potassium iodide. We're going to be releasing oxygen and it's going to be mixing with the water in the dish soap and what happens when you have lots of dish soap and water and some oxygen, you're going to get some bubbles. And so let's see if we can, we can make some bubbles. So we're going to add the catalyst and then you and I are going to actually step okay. back once we add the catalyst. Okay, I'm okay. ready. All right, let's do here it. we go. There we go. And step back. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> haven't seen bubbles like that since my last bath. So we are ready to head outside. It's time for me to show you what I'm made of. Let's head outside. All right, everyone, it's my time to shine. I believe only five scientists have ever attempted this experiment before. We are doing Mentos in Diet Coke. Here we go. I'm very nervous. Good. All right, there they go. Back Whoa. up, back up, back up. <laughs> Science. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for this episode of Tuesdays with Tyler. Deb, thank you for being brave enough to come on here. We will catch you guys for the next episode. Thanks for tuning in.